Welcome to your quest on Happier TV, where you get your questions answered. And today, our question comes from 43-year-old Daniel. Tal, four months ago, I switched jobs. While I was fairly happy in my previous place, I was given an offer that I didn't feel like I could refuse, both higher position and significantly higher pay. The problem is that since moving to the new company, I have been unhappy. I don't connect to the people as much as I did in the previous place, and I just don't look forward to work as I did in the past. Now, I'm not sure that I made the right move and I'm confused. You know, Daniel, change is rarely easy. Even if there is the initial high that comes from novelty, in most cases, there is a low that comes right after. And for you, this change is even harder because you feel like you left something good, perhaps better, behind. So first, I, I would urge you to give yourself, or rather the new workplace, more time. Friendships, for example, take time to develop, and it usually takes a while to feel comfortable in a new position with new responsibilities which you have. While time is sometimes necessary and sufficient to bring about positive change, I wouldn't leave things to chance. Be proactive about making a change. This means uh, going out of your way to meet people. Ask your colleagues for lunch. Not every meeting needs to be a, a home run, but you'll find that over time, over time, friendships will develop. And not surprisingly, one of the best predictors of job satisfaction is relationships with colleagues. You don't need to love everyone, but even if you have one or two close friends, that can make all the difference between looking forward to work and disliking work. So it's key that you take time to cultivate relationships. I'd like to suggest something else. Take a few minutes to write everything that you like and appreciate about your new workplace. You can start with your paycheck or the position that you're in, but don't stop there. Dig deeper and find the positive in your workplace. By focusing on the positive, rather than being stuck in comparisons to your previous workplace, you'll be establishing the independent merits of the new place you're in. And it's always possible to find some merit. Based on what you end up writing, another thing you can do is experiment with doing different things. We usually, in whatever position we're in, we usually have some freedom in terms of the things we do the projects we engage in, uh, what we do within each project, and so on. So ask yourself what it was about your previous work that you liked, and what things you like doing in this work, and do more of them. If a few months or a year from now you still dislike your work, which of course is a possibility, then perhaps consider changing it. Either find another position within the same organization, or look elsewhere. Before you do that, though, it's important for you to recognize what you connected to and what you didn't connect to in both workplaces, so that you can hopefully learn from those things that went well and those things that didn't. Your new workplace will never be like your old workplace, because no two places or situations or even experiences are identical. I hope you find happiness in the new place. You've done it before, so I see no reason why you can't do it again. Thank you, Daniel, and thank you all for watching. Do you have any questions for us? If you do, please send them over our way here on Happier TV.